so much today, so much. I'm uh, in the Selkirk Mountains next to a beautiful creek flowing down from high above, high above, way up in the snow line somewhere. Uh, it's gorgeous here. There are dug fir, cedar, hemlock, and many deciduous trees, maple, alder, birch, that have not yet uh, leafed out, but I do see buds everywhere. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Lots of moss. I'm here for the journey for your vision. And I have to tell you, um, I just, I, I've been just laughing because you are surrounded by so many and they have been so present today. So let's get into this because this is a lot. <laughs> um, so at first, um, right, I'm preparing and uh, <laughs> they all come in, they all come in, like boom, before I even get started, before I even can go. And it was, it was like my own ancestral grandmothers who jump right in at just as I'm ready to do something or ask or, you know, even, even open a circle, <laughs> they jump in and, um, are rather like, okay, this is the way it's going to be. This is what's happening, so get with it. <laughs> what it was was, get out the paper and pen, pencil, let's get to work. You're going to draw. Here we go. You ready for this? Let's do this. So, because, and they were being very kind, because if I'm drum journeying and they're granting me the vision, so often it's, it takes so much for me to pull, draw every detail back down. And this is so detailed and so informational that it was like, you need to write this all down. So here we are. Here we are. I have the writings. I'm going to use my glasses. Um, I'm surrounded by your incredible uh, mallet handle from the lightning tree which has been bathed in these gorgeous waters. Your crystal has been bathed in these gorgeous waters and is sitting on the moss next to the lightning tree, next to some of my own crystals and talkers, rock people there. Over here is my altar set up with the four directions, my medicine bags. Um, a couple of my other items that I use ceremonially. Your beautiful sage and copal have been burning and blessing. Your waters have blessed the waters of this mountain, as well as your uh, lightning tree. And I have asked and taken waters from the Selkirk Mountains to send back to you when the time is right, and some to go into your birthing waters when they get there. So, okay, that means they're like, go, 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 come on, come on, come on, get through it, let's get this done. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. Okay. So, pardon me for reading, but uh, <laughs> this is a lot. All right, I'm going to start with the inner sacred circle. So I haven't seen color on the sacred circle yet. If you see color, let me know right away. The inner sacred circle, you asked for peace profound. Oh my goodness, yes. Peace profound will be written not only in English, but also in Irish, Gaelic, uh, Cherokee, and German as well. So it's in the language. Your ancestors are so present and, and really want to be represented inside the sacred circle as that's like your, your, your business card, your, your mystical, spiritual business card that says, here I am. They are, they're with you. They're like, you're blended. Like, they are so surrounding you. It's incredible, and there's more to come on that. So that that will be inside. Also inside, um, Odin is very present in this, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so your rune for O, uh, Odin Protected, is inside that as well. 
So yes, you are protected as you step out. What's going to come through the hoop is that protection, the guidance of your ancestors, but also, get this, okay, so what else goes inside there in Celtic knotwork is forget-me-not flowers, and those are representative and symbolize true love and respect, and that is from your ancestors, particularly your grandmothers, but all of your ancestors, to you, surrounding you, so there's protection, all of this love and respect for you and your work in the world and what you're doing, and that will be inside. All right, so the mesa, so prominently right there in the center of your mesa is a lightning bolt, of course, like there it is, the white fire. Um, that's representing all of the elements actually. What I received was that white fire is representing not only fire and light and heat and that energy of that, but also air that it's moving through, soil that it grounds into, and the water that comes through the thunder clouds that the lightning is bringing. It's like this whole pot of elemental uh, power to that lightning bolt on the front. So that'll be right in the center. Just behind that, this is, this is a few layers of things, just behind that in a circle. So you've got your sh 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 lightning strike, and then in a circle surrounding it is the Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail, which is a symbol of wholeness and infinity. And that is your uh, ring neck snake. Um, I am seeing colors on the mesa. So your lightning bolt is in white. It's more than just white, though. I'm not sure what else it is. I, I'm thinking it is uh, uh, silver flake in there with that or something. So anyway, it's it's like it's on fire. It's there's some brilliance in it. Um, so then the Ouroboros is uh, going to be done in. Hi, sweetie. There's a puppy over here. Hello. The Ouroboros will be done in um, mica, so gold flecked mica, but also uh, cyclorite. It is a, a stone person. This, this is all going to be done out of stone people because they surround you and speak with you so much. They're, they're so much a part of the groundedness of your work. So everything that's going on the mesa is done with ground stone people. All right, so mica, kind of gold fleck, the cyclorite, which is a brown. So that will be your Ouroboros, your ring necks. And then the eyes of your Ouroboros will be made out of shungite, which is a beautiful black, rich black stone person. We, all of these stone people, and I'll, I'll send this to you too, they all will be working with you. Here you go. Behind the Ouroboros, third layer, is Celtic knotwork. And this Celtic knotwork comes in the shape of, okay, get this, here's where Odin comes back in. So Odin, sun, you're Odin protected, but it's because, wow, this is so rich. Odin's son was Thor in the, in the myths. However, Thor is, of course, the god of lightning and thunder. Thor is represented throughout history. If you go back in history a little further, that same god has a different name, and the name is Tyrannus. If you go back even further in history, in the Celtic Irish mythology, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce this incorrectly. Tuirion. Tuirion. It's spelled like T-U-I-R-E-A-N. So so same being, same frequency throughout history with different names, but the god of the the power of lightning. So let the lightning beings, the weather beings, right, throughout history personified in human form, in human mythology. So so Tyrannus had Thor carried a hammer. That is not in your in your in your mesa. But Tyrannus carried a wheel and a, and a lightning bolt. 
and the wheel is, is a circle and it has the four directions but also the cross point. And yours will be done in Celtic knotwork. This is, this is so detailed, but it's not just Celtic knotwork. <laughs> it's, it's the triquetra up at the directions. There's a tri the, the triangle, of course, right? The triangle, the, the frequency, the vibration at each of the cross and the cross quarters and the north, south, east, west, and then they're connected by Celtic network, but that lies behind the lightning bolt, behind the Ouroboros, okay? So that's backing, shielding, holding, protecting, energizing through your, uh, your Anglo-Saxon, Gaelic, Irish, Germanic people. Now here's the thing with Odin. So Odin came forward very, very clearly that frequency. Odin protected means. You, in this incarnation, are an emanation of the frequency of Odin's son that we have come to call for Tyrannus uh, Tweryon. This frequency is you. You are an emanation of that in your work, in your projection power, in your healing, in your protection power. You hold that same frequency. In the mythology, that frequency was often used to strike down enemies. This is not you at all. At this point, and here's what Odin showed me, at this point in history, what is needed most is healing projection. And so through the, the lightning, through the infinitude of Ouroboros, because this frequency is here to stay for you, through the wheel of Tyrannus, through these symbols that have come through time that we use to, to make meaning for ourselves, and mostly it helps us to connect in, right? you will be able to shift that warrior frequency not against an enemy but projecting healing toward that which is wanting calling trying to be healed on our planet at this time in history whoa <laughs> you're powerful you're very very powerful i mean i'm i'm humble i'm humble right. so your celtic not work will be painted on with the rock people's frequency of serpentine, green appetite, and Siberian emerald, also known as diopsin. So that will be utilized in doing your knot work. This is going to be really beautiful. Really beautiful. One more layer. Are you ready? <laughs> One more layer. So... Surrounding all of that is the frequency through which, so your, your lightning is the initial power projection moving through infinity or Ouroboros, moving through into the center of Tur the Wheel of Tyrannus and out through your Celtic knotwork, projecting out through the funnel of the, tri the Triquetra you know, at each at each uh, cross quarter and cross quarter, so you're you're funneling that that frequency out, like amplifying it, and what is just outside of that, that all of that frequency of your healing, of your drumming, of your work with the beings who work with you through you, um, it's going to go through the words. Peace profound in runic script, in runes. So at each quarter and cross quarter will be peace profound, peace profound, peace profound, peace profound, peace profound peace, all the way around. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, this is incredible. This is just incredible. I can hardly wait to draw this through. My hands. It's beautiful. Okay. 
so here, when I, I actually drew this thing out, um, it's a really terrible drawing, so I'm not going to show it to you. But what I saw is after I drew it and I added some color to it, oh, I'll show you in a minute, but it's awful. Um, I, I, you know, it's like I can hardly balance this book and whatever, but anyway, um, <laughs> I'll just show you. So look particularly at the Celtic knotwork, okay? And what is in the space between the Celtic knotwork, which is right now just paper colored, tell me what you see. I mean, you can't not see that, right? Hearts. <laughs> when I saw that, I, I just went, oh. your grandmothers, it's your grandmothers, it's your ancestors. Uh, on the Mesa as well. And and there may be something coming in between inside those hearts, something about birds, but I'm I'm not certain of that. That'll come as the drawing unfolds. So what often happens for me is I'll I'll get to drawing and so much more comes in. Um, and then, you know, I just do an outline drawing like I did in this book. And then I I'll send that to you and then you know, once you're like, yep, then we'll transfer that well, then we start to birth the thing. But once we transfer it, um, so much more will come when I'm actually drawing on the drum and, and preparing. It'll, it'll be like, and now do this, and now do that. <laughs> they continue to instruct and guide as I go along, so I don't always get every detail. It always comes one step at a time, and I get the next thing just as I do the last thing. All elements are present, all colors are present in your lighting, all directions are present. I mean, you're working on on levels beyond and beyond and beyond 3D. This is 4D, 5D, 60. I mean, this is, whew, I really admire and respect you in such a big way and all those who surround you. But I do want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. I am... I'm more than honored. Um, I'm more than um, humbled. I'm more than grateful for a chance to work with you, with your guardians and guides, with your ancestors, with all the beings that are surrounding you. They are incredibly potent and powerful. They are nothing but excited to work through you as the hollow bone to channel this beautiful healing energy that's this energy that's been on this planet that's been recognized by humanity for centuries that's been called by many names and personified that now at this point in history which makes so much sense to me is flipping into healing powerful potent healing energy healing projection toward all that is crying, toward all that is wanting, toward all that is lacking, toward all that believes there even is a lack, toward all that may be filled with fear, anger, hatred, toward is healing, loving, true love, respecting, honoring, guiding, projecting, healing, healing, healing waters which are the result of thunder, lightning, fire, air, the grounding in the earth, the healing, the nourishing. Wow. I so honor you. I so thank you. This is amazing. So much more to come. So much more to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Lord.